Now we're ready to take our uh, 3D geometry and break it into lots of small control volumes. Uh, we'll use the meshing feature of ANSYS for this. So you can double click on mesh. And that takes us to the ANSYS uh, mesher program. It might take a while, but finally it will pop up. And you see it's imported our uh, our 3D geometry, our solid model that we have to work with. Uh, meshing is really a complicated subject, um, but I think we can uh, get dangerous enough with it here for, for nice common shapes. Uh, the first thing I'll do is show that we only want to make this a, a 2D model, we only really want uh, one mesh in the Z direction. So to control that, I'll right click on mesh and insert a method. It's looking for geometry, so I'll apply it to the entire 3D solid I have here. For the method, instead of automatic, I'll choose sweep. Sweep means I'll take whatever mesh I have on the, on the front side and I'll just sweep it all the way to the back. I'll make it a manual source and target. And so now I have to select the source and the target. So I'll click on source here and uh, I'll choose a face, the front face, and apply that. I'll rotate to the back side and for my target, I'll choose that and apply it. Uh, other than that, I'm using number of divisions, and instead of the default, I'll manually override that to one. So I'm just going to have one, uh, one control volume in the Z direction. Okay. I can now click on Mesh. And uh, it's already associated this with the CFX program under Sizing. Uh, we've got a lot of uh, default things happening right now. Uh, to get a, a relatively fine mesh, we can, on the relevant center, go from coarse to fine. And on the relevance here, we can scroll this all the way to 100. Uh, so let's orient to look at the front here. And with that, we can click on Update. So we get the progress here as it's meshing, and uh, you see we have one element or one control volume through the thickness of the piece. And then on the front side, we have it nicely broken into uh, shapes, smaller control volumes. If I wanted to get any finer, uh, I could come in here and instead of taking the default, for instance, the uh, maximum face size, I could click directly. Uh, and change that to another value, a uh, smaller value, and it would force the faces to, to be even smaller. But for right now, I'll, I'll work with these defaults. That's fine. Okay, I can close the mesher now. I see the green check mark. And now I'm ready to proceed into the CFX pre uh, program to, to set up my parameters, identify the materials, boundary conditions, and the solution parameters.